At the University of Arizona, located in the Keening Building, Dr. Fernando Martinez and his colleagues, Dr. Carol Barnes and Dr. Jennifer Barton, overlook an institution that fosters creativity and facilitates collaboration between scientists, engineers, doctors, and students. Our special light source comes down. Our basic objective is collaboration. The history of, of the Bio5 Institute is a very interesting one and almost uh, represents the way in which, in general, uh, science works. It all starts with new ideas, a new way of doing life sciences. The faculty who are drawn to Bio5 are naturally collaborative. That's, that's the real magic of Bio5. Bio5 collaborates with basic science, agriculture, medicine, pharmacy, and engineering, but the most important collaborative aspects are the students. Having students involved is so important that we have built the pipeline of future scientists here in the state of Arizona. And they take on a real research project. These students make a real contribution to the labs that they're in. Bio5 Institute does a lot of different types of outreach, education, and training. So one of our flagship programs that we do in concert with the College of Pharmacy is the KEYS program, or Keep Engaging Youth in Science. You can also research and see how drugs are working. One of the high school students who is part of the KEYS program is Caitlin Myrdal. The KEYS program is a program that allows high school students to participate in research, hands-on at the university. Researchers allowed us to work in their lab and it's a great experience. So in my lab most of the work is done by students. Those students are the ones who come in here every day and they do the experiments and they do the hard work to make these things happen and um, when we do the clinical trials they help go over there and they get suited up and they go into the operating room and help with that too. Bio5 taught me a lot of hands-on uh, experience, um, a lot of hands-on sort of lessons that I couldn't have learned in class. So that's been really fun. And then also just another aspect of engineering that I didn't really think about. You cannot teach how research is done in a, in a formal classroom uh, very effectively. You really have to get into the lab and um, do it, and it's really an apprenticeship. Bio5 has created new ideas and new solutions to many life sciences problems like creating a chemo-preventative drug and creating the first malaria-free mosquito. At Bio5, collaboration and thinking out of the box create solutions to help people. We're kind of in the world of the unknown. We don't know what's going to happen. And even evaluating this data, it's like, you know, you could really help people by doing the work that you do. 